Our planet and its diverse ecosystem nourish billions of us daily. But climate change, land degradation and biodiversity loss are major threats today. Intensive industrial food systems are having unprecedented impacts on people and nature. They are driving extensive deforestation, degrading soils and depleting fresh water. Today's food systems cause about one-third of human-induced greenhouse gas emissions, as well as harming the health of people and animals. These impacts are coming full circle and affecting food production itself. Farmers are facing decimated harvests, fluctuating yields, and an uncertain future. More than 30 years ago, three international conventions on climate, desertification and biological diversity were born out of the Rio Earth Summit to promote a sustainable planet for future generations. It is now clear that changing the way we produce, process, consume and dispose of food is critical to achieving the goals of all three conventions, as well as meeting the world's commitment to zero hunger. Relying on scientific, social, institutional and indigenous innovations, agroecology works with nature and rebuilds ecosystems. That makes it a crucial pathway to achieving the objectives of the three Rio conventions. By working with nature and locally adapted approaches, it promotes biodiversity, restores natural habitats and landscapes, and enhances the resilience of ecosystems, for example, by reducing threats to pollinators. By improving soil health and carbon sequestration, it offers solutions to both mitigate and adapt to climate change. It protects against violent droughts, floods and soil erosion. Agroecology can help to combat the rising threat of desertification and restore degraded land, for example, by using diverse crop varieties that are adapted to local environments. Agroecology is highly water efficient, allowing farming to thrive in arid areas. By placing agroecology at the heart of the three Rio conventions and by channeling more funds towards it, we can bridge environmental, agricultural and health policies. We need countries to take concrete action through national plans and strategies. Let's work together to champion agroecology and bring the changes we need.